Did you know that if you took all the blood vessels in our body and laid them out end to end, they would measure about 100,000 kilometers? That's enough to wrap around the Earth two and a half times. But what exactly does it take to make a blood vessel? Let's find out now as we explore the microanatomy of blood vessels. In this tutorial, we'll learn all about the microanatomy of the two major types of blood vessels, arteries and veins. When talking about these vessels, we'll pay particular attention to their wall structure and thickness. We will see that both arteries and veins share a common structural arrangement formed by three layers the tunica intima, the tunica media, and the tunica externa. We'll investigate how their structure is related to their function. We will also, of course, compare the composition of these layers in both types of vessels. Once we've covered all of that, We'll conclude, as always, with a clinical note. But firstly, what is the circulatory system? Before we jump right into the deep end, however, let's have a little recap on the circulatory system. The circulatory system is your very own biological delivery service. It functions to deliver oxygen, nutrients and hormones to cells across the entire body whilst simultaneously removing any unwanted waste products to other parts of the body for disposal. Through a network of arteries and veins of varying sizes, which are interconnected by capillaries, blood is carried around to all the tissues in the body. Arteries are defined as vessels bringing blood away from the heart. In the systemic circuit, arteries carry oxygenated, nutrient-rich blood towards various organs and tissues of the body. The exception to this is the pulmonary circulation, where arteries carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. There are three types of arteries in the body. Elastic arteries, muscular arteries, and arterioles. Veins, in contrast, carry blood away from the rest of the body and towards the heart. One exception is the portal vein, which carries blood from the gastrointestinal tract to the liver. In the systemic circuit, veins carry deoxygenated blood, while in the pulmonary circulation, Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Their structure is not as varied as that of arteries and they are generally just categorised by size into small, medium and large veins. Except for their smallest examples, all arteries and veins consist of three concentric layers, called tunicae. From innermost to outermost, they are the tunica intima, the tunica media and finally, the tunica externa, which you can see in these illustrations. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.